view. This, this is now a, um, a bird's eye view. And you see the suprascapular nerve, once again, makes the medial turn to innervate the supraspinatus. It wraps under the chromium to innervate the, the um, infraspinatus. But what I have not mentioned is that there are these tiny branches that go in different directions here. These branches are called sensory articular nerves. What that means is that they actually innervate the joint capsule. And um, so as you can see from this side view, this lateral to medial view, so just to help orient you, this is the um, coracoid process. This is the, uh, um, the chromium. So, you, so if, the, if the humerus was here, it would be attached to this socket here. So what you can see is that the supraspinatus nerve comes around, but when it enters the spinous fossa to innervate the spinatus, it sends branches to the joint itself, okay? And later I'm gonna see that these, these nerves, these branches are actually already a point that's being passed down to us. Okay, so in this video here, what we're gonna see is a needle inserted into this region over here so that you can see there's a complete activation of the entire infraspinatus. If you were to put the needle in the modern location, you're only gonna be activating one third of the, of the um, infraspinatus. But when you stimulate it at the level of the nerve, that nerve branches into all three different leaflets of the infraspinatus. So you can activate the entire infraspinatus. Then you can get a very powerful external rotation as we can see over here. Okay, so the, the, the volunteer is not using their right hand to do this. It's simply supporting the hand. The, the, the very evident external rotation is due to the, um, the nerve activation of the entire muscle.